Okay, here we are. I have the two UV5. Uh, no, I have the UV5 RA here on my left hand, and the DM5R here on my right hand. Same size and everything, uh, different layout. The UV5 RA was an upgrade and things like that. Uh, let's go through the menus on the DM5R real quick. I will cross uh, reference with the menu system on the UV5 RA. See if there are any differences in the analog part at least. And we'll see for the digital part later. Let's put that here. Okay, the manual in case we need it. Now, turn it on. Welcome, standard stuff here. Okay, let me remove this screen sticker here because I don't like it. It's messing up. Oh, okay. It's better. Let's put that here for now. Okay, now. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm in channel mode. Not sure it's receiving here. Okay. Uh, let's go to the frequency mode. Okay. And let's put some in the band frequencies here. Okay. And okay, this is in digital mode right now. It says D here. Uh, Okay, let's One, still four, put it five, on. Three, zero, zero. It shows it's, it's receiving, but I don't hear something. Here it's all the way the volume, but not sure what it's receiving. Let's key here, it's on digital. And uh, okay, full signal, but of course nothing comes out of it. Uh, let's key the digital part, uh, uh, DMR to analog. Okay, it is something digital, as you can hear. Okay, now let's. Oops, turn off the digital. Let's go through the settings really quick. Uh, standard, pretty standard stuff. Menu step. Menu. Frequency step. Okay. Okay, 2.5k is the lowest step you can have. I prefer it here, 6 to 5. Confirm. Okay. Transmit power. Power. Let's put it on low. Confirm. Okay. Power save function, uh, Vox, ABR, this is the lighting, uh, if I remember correctly, Confirm. okay, TDR, this is the dual watch, yes, okay, beep, uh, let's uh, leave beep on for now, timeout timer, Voice. I voice I don't like the having voice here, so I'll turn it off. Okay, now we're good. Uh, scanning mode. MDF. This is what it should display. Frequency or name. Let's uh, put it. Let's set this to name, channel, and name. Is there maybe any other? No. I thought there might be another option, but it's pretty standard. Name. Busy channel lockout. This is when it's receiving and you press uh, the push to talk. Uh, it will uh, make a sound. It won't transmit. Uh, I always have it to off. Auto lock. Off. Uh, this is the shift, uh, positive or negative. Offset, standard stuff, memory channel. Uh, the monitor, the display color, receive, transmit, band, the message to display. This is what to display when you're turning on the radio. It's either a message, but the full uh, is when the this is when the full display lights up. 
with everything. Message that, that these are the only options. Okay, standard. Roger beep off, of course. Reset. Mode DMR. Okay, now let's go here. Reset is number menu number 28. Let's see. Here. 28 if you see there are some differences here there are more things here at least all these some of these things reset is number 40 here is the last thing and then we go to squelch okay so there are the menu is a bit different uh, of course it should be it includes a digital mode but not sure if you can see that but it lights up here and here this here is nothing it's on the same frequency this is in DMR mode this is in analog mode there's nothing it's not receiving anything this the icon here uh, turns on not sure why I'll remove it from digital mode and see. Uh, meanwhile, uh, something I think here maybe on the table. Yes. Okay. Look at this. These two are probably using the same screen uh, because. If you see here, we have L and the Lima Delta on the screen. If you see here, this is the TYT UV 1000E. Okay, let's put this on frequency mode also. Okay, if you see here, we have L and D. L is for low power, D is for digital mode. Yes, here, however, whoops. It should be the same, but here, however, we have L and D. L is for low power again, but D is for dual watch mode. Because if I change to the bottom VFO, you see it's still there. This is analog mode, it does not have a, a, a digital mode. Okay, so it's for dual watch. Here, D is for um, digital mode. I'll go to the other one, there's no D. Okay. That's interesting. Let's put that here and see what's going on. Not sure what it's receiving, but uh, we'll see. Okay, menu reset number 28. Okay, mode DMR. Let's go here. FM DMR and FM. Okay, let's put to FM. Oh, it restarts. Okay, now see no D letter here. but it's still receiving something in analog mode well this one hmm, did you hear that? well this one shows nothing uh, ok that's interesting Pre holding on zero ok we can see the battery here we go the battery voltage like this one Okay, now let's go through the rest of the menus. Uh, Squelts, okay, yes, yeah, Squelts was the first uh, option, not step. Uh, let's put that to the lowest for me. Okay, okay, now let's go to, we were at 28. Hmm, now that okay, it changes menus. Uh, now that we've um, put it on analog mode, you have a new set of menus. And here, these, yeah, these are probably the standard Baofeng analog menus. CP version. Okay, that's probably. Uh, 15th of July yeah 15th of July CP version 
let's go through the other ones real quick this, uh, these are the standard ones yeah auto lock bcl and things like that um, what will it show if we press 3 on the keypad and turn it on nothing it doesn't show the firmware version maybe 6 no or 0 so because uh, it's probably showing it it's part of the menu on uh, standard uh, Baofengs, analog Baofengs uh, when you uh, press and hold on 3 and turn it on here you have the version this is a completely different version which is shown as you see this thing picks up uh, maybe it's more sensitive than other bow things if it is uh, I would really appreciate this okay uh, now let's put it on digital mode on another frequency according to the band plan let me check real quick I don't remember okay not sure what it's picking up it is picking up something okay uh, we should go to 144 mm. all mode Let's go 144 725. Okay. And put it to on digital mode. Here we go. DMR. Set it. It reset, restarts. Here it is on digital mode. And Let's put this here so that it receives. Okay, there we go. Digital. This one. It's receiving, but nothing comes out here. Of course, different modes. Okay, now um, I will connect this and check out the software and see what's going on. I'll take it from there and after that I'll test it with um, uh, on simplex communication uh, with another DMR radio.